Where are the best and worst areas of Victoria? Victoria is not a large city, but we have 13 separate municipalities and many neighborhoods within each one. My name is Ira Wiley. In this video, I'll show you what I think the absolute best neighborhoods of Victoria are. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what areas to avoid. We'll look at walkability, climate, transit, crimes, schools, and even earthquake zones. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with any of the opinions in this video. Thank you for watching and please don't hesitate to reach out if you do have any questions about moving to Victoria or buying and selling real estate here as well. The most walkable neighborhoods are near or around downtown Victoria. The West Shore has developed fast but lacks many sidewalks compared to Victoria proper and you'll find it a very car dependent lifestyle. A few examples from WalkScore. Langford has a walk score of 33, Colwood 32, and Souk is only a 12. Saanich is a 40, Oak Bay 52, and Downtown is a 94, which makes it the most walkable neighborhood. Some of my personal favorite neighborhoods are the ones with the most walkable villages. Cadbro Bay, Cook Street Village, and James Bay. These are great neighborhoods to live and visit. When it comes to the best family-friendly neighborhoods with lots of parks, amenities, and quiet streets, here are my top picks. I love Saanich, in particular Mount Doug and Cordova Bay. Out on the West Shore, I really like Colwood, in particular the Wishart area, and Happy Valley is extremely safe with lots of young families in the area. For retirees, Sydney, Dean Park, Brentwood Bay, and of course Oak Bay. I also really love Saks Point out in Esquimalt. For character and charm, and a bit of history and diversity, Fernwood, James Bay, and Fairfield. For a rural lifestyle, West Saanich, in particular Prospect Lake, the Highlands and Souk offer plenty of privacy for those looking to get away from it all. There are very few bad neighborhoods in Victoria. Take a moment, drive around and explore all the neighborhoods when choosing where to live. It's true Langford is more developed than say Saanich, but it has some really beautiful neighborhoods within it and some natural beauty such as out on Mill Hill and Langford Lake. Victoria has microclimates. It's colder, rainier, and windier out on the west coast as you get less protected from the Pacific Ocean. Royal Bay, for example, in Colwood, is usually several degrees colder than Saanich. Anywhere near the ocean will be cooler than the inland areas. Up in the highlands or Malahat, you'll find you'll get a lot more snow. It's difficult to say what the worst areas of Victoria are because that can be very subjective. Luckily, there's a lot of great resources online that you can use, and we'll dig into one of these today. I'll leave all the links to these in the comments below. So the first one we're going to look at is the Vic PD crime map. And this is a great tool because it shows all levels of police incidents and calls from violent assaults to property and theft, disorder, disturbance, and like I said, all the 911 calls are logged here as well. And everything is on this uh, map that you can, you can browse the map you can even put in different time frames here, different days of the week. And what you can see looking at this is that most of the calls and the police activity is right downtown. And in particular, I would say that 900 block of Pandora, that's where we're going to see most of the, uh, the activity. So this is largely between Quadra and Vancouver and some of the surrounding blocks. There's a homeless shelter here, and this is where you usually see, if you're driving down Pandora, you'll see the largest congregation of homeless people in Victoria right here. So these probably are blocks you don't want to walk with your kids or walk alone at night. And if it is something that concerns you, don't live in this area. Zooming out a bit, you'll see the surrounding areas of Victoria. There's some crimes here, James Bay, Fairfield, Fernwood, uh, the hillside area, and then across the bridge in Vic West but largely these are very safe neighborhoods. Uh, there's not a lot of high risk uh, crime happening here, but what I would say is if you're in the vicinity of downtown, you just have to think about things like maybe having a security camera, locking your car doors at night and not leaving valuables in your vehicle at night. When it comes to the best schools, there are a number of resources that you could use and I'll share those in the comments as well. I will say it's very subjective and it's hard to rank schools because we do have public and private schools in Victoria as well. Probably the best way to find out what schools are best for you is to talk to parents who go to them and draw your own conclusions based on your own research. 
One question I get asked a lot from my clients moving to Victoria is what is the tsunami and earthquake risk? The province recently created an interactive web app that shows what areas of the island are highest at risk. This is an interesting resource and you can see that most of the coastal areas are at risk, in particular James Bay, Rock Bay, Esquimalt and Colwood, but really anywhere near the water, anywhere near the coast is at risk for a tsunami. There's another map here that shows earthquake hazards. Personally, as a lifelong resident of Victoria, earthquakes and tsunamis are not something I think about very often. I think it's an irrational fear since the, the big one hitting is largely out of our control and there's not really anything we can do about it. But I do think it matters when you're considering the age of a building, the age of a home, and if any seismic updates have been done, in particular if it's a condo building or an older condo building. The building, the home you're buying matters a lot more for earthquake safety than the area of town you're in. So to answer what the worst areas of Victoria are, it really depends on the kind of home you want and the lifestyle you value. Victoria and Vancouver Island is an absolutely amazing place to live, but we aren't without some challenges and I do encourage you to use the tools I have linked below to help decide on what neighborhood is best for you. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about moving to Victoria or buying and selling real estate in Victoria, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.